Hey, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces and Ethereum staking is now possible on the Ledger devices, whether you have the Nano S or Nano X, through the Ledger Live application. Now, staking Ethereum is not new. However, most of the applications, for example, like Coinbase, if you stake your Ethereum, you won't be able to do anything with it till ETH 2.0. However, through Lido, I believe that's how I say it correctly, L-I-D-O, and Ledger Live, we are able to stake our Ethereum. Now, quick disclaimer, Ethereum staking service is operated by Lido. Uh, if you encounter any transaction related issues, please reach out to them, not Ledger. Ledger is not controlling any of this. But um, as I mentioned, you know, the appeal of staking, especially to, to have such great returns, you really need 32 ETH. But this opens the door for many of the, the smaller individuals that doesn't have 32 ETH to really get involved, help secure the network, and validate transactions. So this transition demands an involved staking community to validate ETH transactions. By staking ETH, you contribute to the network security, security while uh, earning daily rewards. By staking ETH with Lido, uh, you don't need to own 32 ETH to become a network validator. Lido always uh, allows the user to participate in the network with any amount of ETH and you don't need to maintain a complex ETH infrastructure uh, while providing liquidity of your ETH. The percentage of your returns though will vary um, because it depends on the total amount stake on the ETH network. An increase in the total amount in stake ETH leads to a decreased APR and if the total amount of ETH stake is low, then that reward weight will, uh, rate will consequently be higher with the maximum amount of annual reward rate of 18.10%. You can click the link here and it actually takes us to, I believe, this website. Let me go ahead and uh, click it right now. And yes, it does. And you can kind of like look at the current stake and reward and stuff like that. Basically right now, at least the time of filming, it's going to be around 5%, 5 percent, 5 point something percent. Uh, regarding the fees, though, Lido uh, does apply a 10% fee of users staking rewards. This fee is split amongst node operators, uh, the DAO, uh, and insurance fund. Uh, it can be changed by the DAO pending a successful vote. Now, how do we get started? Well, first off, we're going to obviously need our Ledger device, and then we're going to need the Ledger Live app. Let me go ahead and load that up. And inside the Ledger Live application, they're gonna you got a bunch of options here on the left-hand side. You're gonna want to click on Discover. Now, I did notice when I was on my laptop with the Ledger device not connected via USB, Discover did not show up. But we click that, and we get a bunch of applications that are available right now on Ledger Live. But there is much more to come in the future, and I'm very interested to see Ave and One Inch on here. But we want to go to Lido, and when we click on it, it gives us a little bit of warning. Uh, now you can check the box to do not remind me again or just click continue but when you click continue you're going to be able to choose your wallet right so up here in the top right there's a drop down and you can swap between whichever wallet you want and now here on this panel it's kind of like a, a, a browser built into the ledger live application I will be dropping my referral link down below if you want to check that out as well uh, but you're only going to earn L do tokens for each uh, ETH user and cycle staking and restaking liquidity for from curve pool will not be rewarded just FYI current API uh, APY or uh, annual percentage rate APR is 5.2 uh, again that goes up and down based upon the amount of people who are staking so to get started I believe there's probably gonna be a minimum amount has to be greater than zero okay so zero point let's say zero nine eight and I'm not gonna do this right now because I want to show you the transaction cost if I hit submit it's gonna be super high right now at the slowest setting it would be about fifteen dollars now we can go to advance and adjust that but let me just leave you this tip because I just wanted to show that it's possible to stake your ethereum through ledger live uh, who is partnered with Lido to provide us this capability but I wouldn't do it on a weekday during business hours. If anything, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait to the weekend and wait for the gas prices to drop down. There's been a lot of changes with EIP 1559. Uh, depending on the time of day, transactions could be ridiculously high. So I would play the game 
uh, to make sure that you can get the transactions as low as possible. If we go to advance, we can customize the gas price and we could actually go and look it up. Let's uh, do Ethereum gas B chart. Look it up right now. Let's check out what Y charts has got for us. So 62 as of right now is the average. Let's see if anybody else has got us something. So 36, 41, 48. So we could get that a little bit lower and put that, you know, right around 43, 42 and then hit continue and then we go prove it on our device i'm not going to approve it because again it's going to charge me a huge fee i'm going to wait till this weekend probably like a saturday evening sunday evening to process the transaction and stake some of my ethereum and the beauty is is that we can unstake it anytime because we're going to earn st ETH instead of normal ETH, and we can convert that according to Lido. Now, I'm going to leave this link here on how it works, a little blog uh, from them if you want to check it out. But it's cool that Ledger has added this capability because there are other cryptocurrencies that al are al allowed to be staked with your Ledger hardware wallets. So that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I just want to share that bit of information with you. It's a little bit more secure. MetaMask is pretty good. You just don't want to fall for any fictitious or phishing sites. You always want to make sure it's the correct MetaMask. But you can connect your MetaMask wallet or other wallets to Lido and do some staking that way as well. I prefer hardware wallet or cold storage of some type. But you make the best decision that's best for you. Anyways, that's going to do it for me today. Please do me a favor. On the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell to stay up to date. As well as check out some of the links down below that help support the channel and get some good stuff like from dojo.com where you get some great cryptocurrency merch. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care.